This is Sandmark's newest telephoto lens for the iPhone and it promises a 6x zoom. For a smartphone lens, it offers a pretty impressive zoom range. Let's see how it performs and what results we can achieve with this lens after the intro. Let's go! But first of all, good day friends, welcome back to this new video. Thanks to Sandmark for sending me this lens to test. But you guys can be sure everything I say about this lens is my own opinion and not biased. But I gotta say, I'm really surprised how big this lens is compared to the other lens I've tested before from Sandma, like the anamorphic lens or the telephoto lens. This is definitely an eye catcher. But let's talk about the workmanship. My first impression is of course the size. This telephoto lens is around 12cm and compared to all the smartphone telephoto lenses I own, this is the biggest one. I have to say it is also a bit heavy because it is made of aluminum, so you can be sure it is very sturdy. And the most exciting feature of this lens is probably the 6x zoom, which allows you to take decent portrait or zoom photos without losing image quality. Furthermore, there is a focus wheel that gives you better control to focus on your subject. A nice touch is that if you order this lens, it comes with a zip bag and as we Germans say, double holds better. Inside the zip bag is another bag. Alright, let's talk about how to use it. If you want to use this telephoto lens, the only thing you need is, of course, an iPhone and the special phone case which you can buy from Sandmark as well. A pro for this lens case is that you can also use other Sandmark lenses on it, so it is compatible with the rest of the lenses Sandmark offers. As you can see, it is easy to attach the lens to the case. You only need to screw it on. I was a bit worried about whether the case could handle the weight of the lens, but so far, nothing has happened. But yeah, probably the most important thing we have to do now is to test the lens. So I will go outside and take some nice shots and coming back later and share with you the result of it. Six months later. Alright, I'm back. What I also want to recommend is, if you are using an iPhone 12 Pro or later Pro models with iOS 14.3 or later, you should activate the Apple Pro RAW function in order to use the full 48 megapixels camera. Let's keep long story short, here we can see it really provides such a big zoom. For me it's pretty cool to use my phone and get such good zoom results with decent sharpness, but of course there are also some issues with this lens. When we take a closer look at the zoom photo, even though the subject we focused on is quite sharp, we can see that around the subject it's very blurry and the transition from blur to sharp is quite noticeable. But when we compare the zoomed photo taken with the lens on the left side to the internal zoomed photo by the phone itself on the right side, we can already see the resolution of the left one is much better. The right one is definitely too pixelated. This lens is really helpful in situations where you can't get too close to your subject, like at the zoo or when photographing a building from far away. Even though we can see there is a slight vignette at the corners, it's not too noticeable. And if you plan on editing the photo with a little bit of vignette afterward, then it's not a big deal that the lens provides a little vignette itself. If you ever thought of using this lens and additionally zooming in with the phone after three times zoom with the phone itself, the photo doesn't look good anymore. I tried the maximum zoom with the lens just for fun and you can see it's kind of a bad idea. Well, what can I say? It's really cool that Sandmark has produced this awesome lens which makes your phone look epic 
When I took shots outside, a few passerby asked me curiously what it was and it's pretty cool to have such a big lens for a smartphone. In conclusion, I would say it's definitely a good idea to extend your photo equipment with this lens, especially for traveling or portrait photos. You will have a lot of fun with the power of this lens. However, to get the best results, you definitely need to use a tripod or place your phone on something stable. Otherwise, it's very hard to get the sharpest shot possible with the lens. Additionally, if you want to make videos with it, it's better not to do any motion shots. Alright, that's it. It was once again very exciting to test a new smartphone lens. But now it's your turn. What do you think about it? Would you use such a big lens too? Let me know in the comments section or you can message me on Instagram if you want. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe this channel to not miss any upcoming videos and as support of course. But yeah, it's time to say goodbye, thanks a lot and see you next time. Bye bye.